question for Jabri. Jabri, go ahead, go, go, go. Uh, Jabri, when you look at this series with Auburn, there's been some really tight games, especially here in Stegman. Uh, just what's it like playing in this series and sort of the back and forth you guys have had with Auburn? Um, they're a good program. I uh, have a lot of respect for um, Coach Burrow and the uh, players that they um, have on their team in previous years and last year. I mean, they're one of the most physical teams in the conference. A really good offensive rebounding team, and we know it's going to be a battle every time we play them. So that's probably why the you know the series is so close or the scores have been so close because they're a really good team, and we know how serious we have to take it and how we have to come to prepare. Able to get back on the right side of things on Wednesday. Just what's the confidence been like in, in the locker room and at practice the last couple of days? Um, honestly, I feel like we're pretty consistent in our mentality and, and when it comes to preparation. Even when we were losing um, a couple in a row, you know, after – the win. I feel like we still have the same approach, trying to prepare for our next opponent um, and, and take it one game at a time. So I think our, our mentality has been pretty consistent. Uh, you guys, the last two games, very strong first halves as far as shooting. It's been two of the more productive uh, first halves. What do you feel like has worked for you guys in the last week or so as far as coming out and, and shooting the ball as well as you guys have? I just think our confidence doesn't waver. Um, no matter if we missed shots the last game, or missed shots um, the game before that one, or missed our shot, missed the first shot of the game. We shoot with the same level of confidence. I think we shoot the shots that we're supposed to shoot. Um, and I think, you know, we're very aggressive. And I think it works in our favor, especially early on in games, we're able to get hot. Um, you know, it's, it's just about holding that lead, maintaining that. And I think we did a good job of that last game and we got to carry that over into Saturday. We've seen a strong stretch uh, from Noah. Just what do you feel like he brings to this team, especially when he's clicking on offense? He's just a bucket getter, the pure scorer, um, really good player. Um, someone that I enjoy playing with. Takes a lot of pressure off you offensively when you can just have someone that can go get a bucket. Um, good defender, too, and, and a really good leader. So I love having him as my teammate, and I think he's only going to get better uh, from here. What was the difference to play the defense in the second half against Vanderbilt? Sure we, had um, we just really tried to put an emphasis on starting off the second half strong. Mm -hmm. I think we started the second half. I think we started the second half with three straight stops. I don't know when the last time we did that. Started a half with three straight stops, and I think if we do that, if we have that mentality going forward, I think we're going to be successful. Um, the last, the games before this, we didn't start the second half off the right way, and we challenged ourselves to get off to a better start last game. Frustrated to have that gotten. I mean, y'all played so well, so many of these games the first half, and the second half it's almost inexplicably. Yeah, it I just mean, drops or something goes wrong. Or, yeah, it's just I think it just speaks to the SEC, right? You just, okay. the the room for error um, is so little, and you know you make a couple mistakes here, you take a couple bad shots, turn the ball over, uh, make a couple defensive mistakes, and, and that could be the game. And I feel like that has haunted us the last couple of games, right? All of them, have, you know, we've been in striking distance in all of the games that we lost recently. Um, and it comes down to a possession or two. So I think just cleaning up as many mistakes as we can um, is going to help us. And at the same time, I mean, again, y'all show y'all can, can compete with anybody. I mean, the first half, it is a deal where you, you know, tell yourself, hey, if we continuously put two halves together, we can compete with anybody. Yeah, the I mean, we feel that way. You know, it's just like you said about putting two halves together. And, you know, I think we started going in the right direction when we challenged mm -hmm. ourselves to get out to a good start um, in the second half against Vandy. So um, the important thing now is just to carry that over into Saturday. What did it look like with Vandy? I mean, was it schematic? Was it mechanic? Was it something just mental? I mean, what was it that, you know, you, when you said this is something that you guys were trying to fix for a while, what was it about Vandy that you were able to make that clip? I think everybody's just taking a challenge defensively, right? Not worrying about making shots, missing shots. Um, you know, you, everybody wants to score. It's a big part of the game. But when you focus on, you know, getting stops, um, everything else takes care of itself. And I think our focus was on the defensive end to start the second half um, against Vandy. So, like I said, we just got to carry that over into Auburn, starting every half off with the right mindset defensively, and we'll be fine. What stands out to you about Janai Varun and just the challenge of going up against a guy like that? Um, he's a good player, good post scorer. Um, he has has some experience, one at this level. Um, so, you know, we got to be ready. Any other questions?